Hello and what's up friends, this is P. Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we're gonna work with margins and pairing. So first of all we're gonna work with your margin and then we will start working on the pairing part. So what uh, margin does, margin, do, margin help margin help us, uh, margin creates a space around the element and push it away from the other elements in your web page. Okay, so how this all stuff uh, to do, let's just go in our Visual Studio Code and start coding for it. So I'm gonna create a just let's give an example of image over here and then we will. Okay, we can use anything for giving margins at all. So after this, let's just choose the image. Sorry, I have image border. What's happening here? Okay, let's just take this image, I guess. I don't know what the image is. Let's just check the output first. Okay, let's just resize it first and then we will work on it. Okay, so this is our image of our Lord Saraswati, and now we're gonna. gonna Resize it first, then we will provide some margin property to it. So I'm gonna just um, change its height to 250 pixels and width also 250 pixels. Okay, guys, and I'm gonna specify a border of 5 pixels. Okay. Uh, 5 pixels yellow, solid yellow. Let's just check this out first and then we will add margin to it. Okay, it's look good, pretty good. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to work with the margins, okay? So for using the margin, margin can be used in a single statement also, meaning a, mean in a single line also. And we have sub parts of margin also. Just for example, we can give margin from top side, bottom side, left side and your right side so how to do that yeah, you can see over here in my coding part that I'm gonna work with the both the ways so first is your margin and what simple margin does it will if we as I assign to auto uh, you can see in my output that it automatically pushes uh, sorry let's just add one more image so it is easy for you to understand how the how this all stuff is turning over there okay okay as you can see over here we have your two images over here and now I'm gonna just give it a margin of margin of for example 50 pixels so it is quite easy to understand for you to you as you can see uh, my one image and another image is separated by uh, 50 pixel space from all the side as you can see a space is created uh, and it is separated from all this side one item is separated by a 50 pixel space from all your side and it automatically starts from the left side it is the use it is the what love working with the margin if you are working with the margin it automatically uh, takes our element and put it onto the left side and then it will uh, start uh, giving start giving your margin property to it okay and now what we're gonna do i'm gonna just give the margin in different ways for example i can give like margin top uh, 10 pixels sorry 10 pixels similarly margin uh, right mr of 20 pixels ml of 10 pic same 20 pixels and your mb of 10 pixels so now you can see in my output that our image is separated from each of the side you can see over here it is not quite easily understood 
it is not easy to understand by seeing that it whether the margin works or not so what you can do is you can just click uh, go to the inspect element tool and uh, just go here uh, find your image you can see I have chosen this image over here and the yellow portion you can see over here the yellow one sorry the yellow yellow yellow, yellow over here yellow if you are not understanding in this way only then what you can do is you have to go in your style part and now you can see that this you see yellow your this is your margin here it is visible to you as you can see we have assigned a margin top of 10 a margin left of 20 mar margin right of 20 and margin bottom of 20 and margin left of 20 as you can see over here and similarly it is uh, also done on your first image also because we have uh, not given a class we have directly tagged the ing uh, selector over here element over here so in this way we are going to work with your margin and now what i can also do it is as we are a developer so we always try to minimize our code so how to do that oh, i can just write the word margin and we can give the your num all the margin property in the same line also so how to do that that is a uh, first you have to assign, give the property of uh, first you have to give the well assign the value of your margin top okay then you have to give the right then the bottom and then your left let's uh let us comment it i just wrote it because i want you to understand that how it work it uh your margin property is here as you can see over here it's working on the uh your clockwise direction from top to right to bottom and then the left so now i'm going to just comment it by pressing ctrl and your forward slash okay as you can see it is commented it is not going to affect our code on our screen so now i'm going to just give the margins like this so first i'm going to assign the uh, 25 pixel which is the top one second we're going to assign with your 45 pixel for example third is your 40 pixels and last one is your 60 pixels okay and now you can see in my output that uh, my image is separated in a different way so just refresh it and as you can see over here now our margin top is of your 25 pixels right is your 45 pixels bottom is your 40 and your left side is of 60 pixels so in this way you can work with your margins also and you can do one more thing also that uh, as I have given you here the property four properties over here we can give two or three properties also here so if I give only two properties over here for example this and this so now what it's gonna do it uh, the first two uh, first 25 pixels means it will going to give the margin of uh, top to tw 25 pixels and a bottom to 25 pixels and the 50 pixels mean it will going to give the margin of 50 pixels to us right and the 50 pixels to us left so just have to save this code and as you can see in my output now we have 25 and 25 top and bottom margin and 50 and 50 margin from our left and right side and if you want you can also give the three properties over here so how you how to do that just give a property of for example 40 pixels and now what is mean that it is going to give a 25 pixels of your uh, top margin top left and right will be your 50 pixels and your bottom will be your 40 pixels so after saving this you can see in my output that is it. now it is your 25 pixel margin top left and right will be your 50 pixels and your your 40 pixels okay guys so these are the some ways to work with your margins and all and now we are moving on to your pairing part so pairing is just similar to your margin only but pairings helps you to create the space uh, from the center of the element to the edge of it and might be you're not understanding words so i'm going to just show you the example how pairings works so let's just take an example of an h1 tag over here okay guys so i'm just writing speed and nothing else so i'm just going to target my h1 element over here and i'm going to give background of for example your red color and i'm gonna give a color of green and i'm going to give it font size sorry 
font size of 50 pixels and is enough I guess let's just check this out output first okay it's not looking that good so I'm gonna just go and just to 50 pixels okay let's just align our text at center so it is easily so it is easy to understand how margin is what I really okay I guess this color is not quite visible to you guys. Okay, yellow is quite highlighted over your red color. So now what it, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work with your margin prop uh, padding property over here. Sorry. So padding will going to push the uh, uh give the space from the your speed and to the edges of your border. As you can see over here, my speed is written over here. And now by using the uh, padding property, it will going to give the space from the inner side so how it all works let's just give a sparing property over here first and then we'll see in and out how it change similarly we can give the fifth uh, your pairing of uh, not 50 pixels just quite let's just give a fifth, um, pairing of 10 pixels over here similarly as we give in under your margin and you can see now my element is separated from all the sides and by the padding of 50 pixels over here yeah you can you are, it is not visible to you but you can see in the box model in our box model over here that uh, your image has the padding of 10 pixels over here 10 pixels right 10 pixels bottom 10 pixels top okay guys and now similarly we can just give the margins pairing properties similarly like that only that we have given or in our margin we can give margin uh, pairing of top for example 10 pixels uh, pairing of your right side 15 pixels pairing of your bottom side sorry margin pairing of your bottom side for example uh, that's 20 pixels and pairing of your left side which is your 25 pixels so now you can see in my output that my uh, element or the text is separated undistributely means uh, your gap is not equally distributed over here so as you can see in my output when i take my cursor over here it will going to show it as a margin top a padding top is your 10 pixels your padding uh, right is your 15 pixels padding bottom is your sorry padding bottom is your 10, 20 pixels and padding left is your 25 pixels as you can see over here so in this way your uh your or as it also you can uh, see over here it is uh, your padding is highlighted in your purple color in our output as you can see over here it is highlighted in your purple color and similarly the last way we can just use this all in a single line so i'm just the same as your margin uh, it works in your clockwise direction only so you can also give the same as for example 25 pixels uh, 41 pixels 56 pixels and your 48 pixels for example as you can see in my output that now my uh, pairing is quite differently you get the previous one so as you can see on your box model when i take my cursor in a box model our pairing is highlighted in your purple color over there in browser and now you can see my top pairing top is your 25 pixels light is your 44 pixels bottom is your 56 pixels and your left is your 43 pixels so guys in this way you can work with your margins and pairings i hope you guys like this tutorial and thanks for watching guys